Hello dear students, we all are connected here to continue our learning at our own places. Here we will be focusing on our previous syllabus. So first of all, I am going to show you certain pictures and you just have to go through them and let me know that what do you all observe. This is your picture number one. Second picture. third picture and your fourth picture I'm doing it again for all of you so that you can observe them again these are the first two pictures and then we have next two pictures you can take a minute you can pause the video and you can go through the pictures again if you want to and just look them properly so that you can actually find out the similarities among them okay so I think most of you have will be able to find out that what exactly the similarity between the pictures is that in the first one a person is drinking water in front of you whereas in the second one a child is bathing in the third one, a child is watering the plants in the garden. And in the third, last one, a person is actually cooking a food with the help of water. So, I think you all have guessed it correctly that yes, it is all about water. Which is our first chapter of the syllabus, that is water. Now, what exactly water is? Water is basically the very basic natural resource that is present around us and it has certain features with it that is first of all it is colorless we all know that it is completely transparent and does not have any color it generally reflects back the color of the object which is kept in front of it it is odorless and what does this mean it means that it does not have any kind of smell on the other hand this particular liquid can be seen in different places like sea, lake, river and different things. Now this particular water, the liquid is basically available in the li living organisms as well. It is a basic constituent of the living organisms. I hope it is clear with all of you and I think we can move ahead. Now. Here we are saying this thing that water is present in sea, lake, river in different formats. So where exactly, how exactly these particular things are available to us? That is we are now going to talk about the sources of water. Now the sources of water, what exactly do we mean? We simply mean that it, the, the resource which actually provides us water. And these resources have various things to be done. They have different roles in our life. And the very basic and important role is that it helps in replenishing the different kinds of water bodies like rivers, lakes and different other things. Now, all the sources that is we are focusing about the water resources they are of two kinds that is one is natural resources and the other one is the artificial resources I guess you can make out the difference as per their names that all the natural resources are the resources that we get from the nature as it is and we utilize them as it is means we are not going to change them or we are not going to do anything else we can directly use them Whereas in case of artificial sources of water, what we have to do is we need to do certain efforts and these efforts are actually going to help us in obtaining the water and using them as per our requirement. So we'll move ahead and we'll look into certain examples of natural as well as artificial resources. Okay, let's go. Now, first of all, we'll look into the natural resources and I'm giving you certain examples over here 
so that you can relate with it that yes these are the things you see in the nature as it is and you use them as it is now the very first example as you can see here i have given the name as rain and this is the picture which actually helps you to relate with this thing now we all love rain yes but it is the natural source of water now the next example that i've put in front of you is river then next is lake a pond and the last one is the ground water now here are certain ways in which you can actually recall these things the pictures over here are representing the different natural resources here as you can see that this particular picture is representing rain water this is river this one is pond the other one is actually ground water here in this particular picture you can actually see that this particular section is marked as ground water that means it is the water which is below the ground now of course we'll go through the things out of it the terms out of it again in the rest of the syllabus or the rest of the chapter of course but for the time being it is only the introduction let's go next is the artificial sources of water now here are certain other examples and in these examples you will see that there is involvement of humans that is if we take the example of bells tube wells step wells hand pumps tap water piau which is i guess not known to everybody but of course we'll discuss about them again but for the timing it is just the intro so next is rainwater harvesting i know that rainwater harvesting is known to most of the students but of course we need to recall it now here now the picture that has come on the screen is basically the picture of a well i think now you will be able to recall the things i hope and i feel that you must have observed certain things certain diagrams around you next is this is what tube well no my dear friends it is step well or bowly next is oh this is the picture for rain water harvesting actually it is a kind of setup of course we'll learn about it again oh next one is tap water now as you can see here that all the structures which are represented in front of you in all these structures they are made by humans and that is how we are able to collect the water out of it and use it so that is why they all are coming under the category of artificial sources of water i think now we can move ahead with our terminologies and details now the very first type is well and i i hope you remember that in the previous one we said that well comes under the artificial category now in this particular type of resource what it is about is that we have to dig the earth deep so that the underground water the water which is inside the ground can uh, can be reachable for us and we can actually use it for which we use certain specific tools for it for example here i have mentioned for you that is pulley what we have to do is pulley is basically a type of tool which is used in the machineries as well as in the wells what actually it does is it helps in reducing our effort of taking out the water that is here as it is mentioned over here that the pulley is basically a particular kind of wheel which have grooves in it now here in the picture you can see that there are certain grooves in it in it i can focus it for you so that you can observe it properly now here are the grooves these ones now these grooves actually helps in keeping the rope steady and you can put a rope over here so that you can use it while moving your hands you can take out the water out of the well 
so that is how the wells have been used by the villagers from a very long time i think we can now move ahead with the rest next of the topic that is the water well now this is basically a huge wheel now in the previous one as we have dis discussed just right now that pulley is basically a small wheel but here what we are going to see is that water well in this a, a huge wheel is used and the wheel is itself connected with buckets now these buckets lift the water which are which can be diverted to a desired area and my dear friends it has one more name just like most of you must be having some other name at your places your family calls you with that name apart from your name that is the official name and here the names are persian wheel or rahat now this rahat word is generally used in agricultural terminologies the farmers when you talk to them they will use the same term that is rahat and this is very popular uh, method of irrigation in uttar pradesh okay so the, it has certain extra things as well for example it is used in water mills and where it is used in grinding the wheat corn and it is used in heavy stones as well now here you can see the pictures the huge wheel is there and it has small buckets attached with it it is rotated and the water comes out from this particular well okay now the next one is bauli that is step well in this bauli basically there are huge well there's a huge well which has connection with lots and lots of stairs so that people can reach down towards it and bauli were is actually an indication of the ancient architectural world where the kings used to make it for build it for the general people or you can say the people who belong to their dynasties and it was used it was supposed to be free so that it can help each and every individual in satisfying their need for water apart from that these areas have been considered as a place for community activities as well as religious ceremonies so these are two different kinds of bowlies that are present in front of you on the screen and i'm sure you all have heard the name agrasen ki bauli that is a part of the delhi state as well and i hope you most of you have um, visited that particular place as well and of course that is the live example for the construction now the next category is hand pumps now as the name is suggesting you need to use your hands for taking out the water and what you have to do is again it is a kind of pipe which is dip di uh, dig deeper and in the lower areas or in the deep underground areas from where it the water can be taken out by moving the handle of the hand pump up and down with which we can actually extract the water as per our requirements now the last and uh, the last source of water for today's class is rain water harvesting where we actually what uh, collect the water coming from rain and we use it for different purposes for example cleaning washing and let me tell you one thing that the water that we collect out of rain water harvesting is not for drinking purposes so be cautious that when you conserve water with the help of the process of rain water harvesting you are not going to use the particular water for your drinking purposes but yes you can use it for different kind of purposes apart from that that is washing and cleaning so that's all for today's my friends today my friends and we'll meet soon for the rest of the chapter thank you